What's up everyone, this is Caesar again of uh, Caesar's American Bully Kennel. Just want to say thanks for the views and the comments for the last video I made. So, um, you know, sorry about the background. It's another nasty, wet, rainy day, so we do another video in the basement. But um, we got the dog with me right now, hanging out. Um, today's video, what I wanted to talk about or comment on, give some tips on, is breeding. Um, over the years of watching the bullies and seeing what people are doing with them and where they're going. Um, me personally, to becoming a breeder, breeding is the last thing you do. You don't breed first, you know, off the jump. Get down, Megan. Um, there's, everyone's doing it right now. If you're going to breed a dog, any kind of dog, bully, pit bull, chow chow, dachshund, anything, what you need to have is knowledge. Basic knowledge, general knowledge on dogs, period. Um, you have to have experience with certain situations. Dog gets sick, you take it to the hospital, um, anything. Just the more experience, the more knowledge you have on the dog in general just helps with your understanding for dogs, period. Not even talking about specific breeds, because that's a whole other topic. But, um... You can't just wake up one day. That's another thing. Becoming a breeder, you don't just wake up one day and say, I'm going to start breeding dogs. And you don't decide to start breeding dogs because you need money. What I've seen, once again, in my opinion, over the years, not just with bullies, just with dogs in general, you don't make money right away. Your first two to, let's say, four years is investing, if you look at the business point of view. And with that investing, you're not really getting much in return. You can't expect the dogs to pay for themselves unless you're having two or three litters a year. And that's, you can't, you can't those dogs aren't going to pay for themselves. You need to have a good foundation. When you start breeding, when you wake up, and you say, I'm going to start breeding. You need to have something stable already, some kind of income, where you can take care of a dog. Once you have that, you need to have the knowledge of dogs, let alone that specific dog you want to breed. Then, once you get to that point, you have to realize, you're, is it good for you to do in this point in time of your life? It's not something you could just do. It, you, you, ha you won't be successful, the dogs will suffer. And if you look at it from a business point of view, if you're just producing dogs to produce dogs, the quantity of dogs out there with everyone else who's producing, you're not going to be making any money because everyone's producing dogs, trying to sell them for $1,500, $2,000. $2, There's someone else with the same kind of quality of dog you're selling. Now they'll go for a lower price just to get rid of them. Now, I can't even tell you how many breeders I've seen, I'm not going to say I know, because I don't want to put anyone out there, but who have two to three dogs left over at each breeding and get rid of dogs for ridiculous prices. Now, with seeing that, when you start producing so much and then just putting so much, just nonsense, let's call it nonsense out there. One, you're not producing anything that's going to make a difference in the breed. You're just producing more dogs. Two, you're not making any profit for yourself, so there's no point in saying that you're going to do it for money. And three, you're going to start putting so much nonsense and so much dogs out there. There's hundreds of other people doing the same thing. Now, what are you doing for the breed? Look at the American Pit Bull Terrier. Those dogs are in kill shelters all day, every day. Why would you want to do that to the American Bully or any other kind of dog? Like, it's, it's just not smart. Me, I always wanted to do it. I never could come to doing it. I'm finally at a point in my life where I'm comfortable. I'm in a good place. I have a good job. I make great money. Breeding is the sign I want to do for the money. I probably might do one or two litters every year or two, one a year maybe, maybe nothing at all. Because, you know, 
to produce something, you have to mentally, financially, and emotionally be able to do that. You can't just jump in it and say, yo, this is what I'm doing. I got pups for sale. Because, um, let's, let's face it, turn out, you're not going to get anything positive. Nothing positive is going to come out of it. Nothing that is going to help you is going to come out of it. So before you start breeding, ask yourself, could I afford to take care of a dog? Do I have the knowledge and experience to handle with what comes along with breeding? Then you have to think, what do I want to do with the breed, with the dog? Where do I want to go with it? Where, what is my overall goal and purpose for doing this? Because if you don't have a purpose, your dogs don't have a purpose. And if your dogs have a purpose, you, you, you're wasting your time. You, you're not benefiting any. Nothing, nothing's happening positive out of that. And, um, you know, like I said, this is my opinion. This is from what I see. These are just things I feel that we need to put out there the kind of knowledge, you know, we need to show people because, I mean, it ain't nothing new. We all know, you know, who doesn't want to breed their dog? You know, part of the bully community is we're so proud of our dogs. Every, I haven't met anyone who doesn't think their dog is the best. You're supposed to think your dog is the best, but that doesn't mean that your dog is right for breeding or you're right to start breeding. Now, like I said, this is what I feel this is my opinion. But, you know, you can take it how you want it, but it's, you know, it's just common sense I'm, I, I'm trying to put out there. It's just something I'm trying to help certain people realize, because I get DMs all day, I, I get responses all day about breeding, and it's not something I want to do for the masses. It's something I want to do for me, for my dogs, for, my, for the breed. You know, you have to learn to focus on one thing. Once you focus on that one thing, take the next step, now you focus on the next step. As you take your steps, you gain experience, you gain knowledge, you gain a passion, you gain a purpose for what you're doing. And the overall end outcome, after all the years of time you put into it, you know, it's, it's worth it. You know, you have to think about what you're doing, you have to think about the dog. You can't just breathe and not think about the dog. And, um... That's what I'll say on that topic for now. I could go into so much many, other, so much more other things about this, but I'm gonna leave it there. Um, thanks for watching. Um, just like before, like, favorite, subscribe, share. You know, let's discuss it. Let's keep this going. Um, anybody got any questions? You got my Instagram, uh, Caesars underscore American Bullies underscore Kennel, and um, you know, thanks for watching. Peace out later.